This is a collaborative music making project with the children of Al Azraq Community and Education Fund. We are a group of international teachers and students from the Global Music Department from Sibelius Academy who conducted this music workshops for the kids. The aim of the project was to bring music uh, to, the, to the daily life of the kids, music making basically. Meeting all the kids who are so filled with with joy of life and how these people have built, rebuilt their lives here. And I just feel privileged to be able to kind of take part in their life for a brief moment and, and uh, have these encounters with the kids and see the joy in their eyes lighting up when they learn something new. And share the same language with yeah, most of exactly. the people here and we didn't even speak maybe any words the feeling just was there this very mm -hmm. very strong human connection a lot of kids tried to play my violin and I could really see that some kids like enjoyed the sound so much that they didn't want to to stop playing and they were just playing one note and it's for them it felt probably like a meditation hearing this sound 
Some of kids also told me that they really love violin and they would love to learn it. So I really felt that I would love to stay here more and yeah, teach them and the basic true curiosity and somehow openness like of the kids like they're they're still young enough that they are curious about a bit everything and and with the instruments also they were like oh can I can I touch this can I try this and like I felt these moments even on the first day like when we let them try the instruments were super like super meaningful and we were thinking yeah they it seems that they don't use the the few instruments they have they don't have a lot but it seems that they're not using it and like they, they kind of need it like it's yeah There are so many lessons for me that I feel like the children were teaching me and I often felt like I was the student and it had to do with their their energy, their joy of life, just their their being in that I I feel like I really learned at least as much from being here, just from spending time with these people. To find the flow in the uh, working together with speech and without speech, that's been really, um, it, it has taught me a lot also um, as a teacher. more about the music being a very important tool to and 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 space to 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 share ourselves as human beings I've learned that music is an incredible tool to boost joy and to boost excitement and also to boost like self-confidence. It's been nice to see the children to experience um, the ex experience the feeling of succeeding in, in something, something that is maybe new, maybe challenging, and yet they've been having constantly these moments of of joy that hey I made it and both individually and, and as a group
these people have infectious smiles. It's it's crazy. Like you just look at them and you you smile. And I, I remember some days like my cheeks wouldn't, like I would have some muscle spasm in my cheeks because of just, I don't remember the, I don't remember the last time I was smiling that much on a very long time period. So, and that was really important, like really really important to see everyone smiling and eager to come and give you a high five, give you a hug. It really made a lot of difference. It made us feel that, at least I'm speaking for myself, that I'm really looking forward to go to the next session and give you this this music. Ordon, Finland, Finland, Helsinki, Helsinki, Finland, Helsinki, Finland, It's incredible what music can do as as a medium to interact with just between any any human beings and just seeing and feeling and experiencing that connection with the children was it was really profound What I've understood is like the vast majority of the kids in the center, they are, they are Syrian and they are, um, they are refugees or, or children of refugees and yeah, they, they all at some point fled from Syria because of the war. so much respect for these people how they have survived what they went through the hardships and of course they still exist and many of them have a lot of hard times still going on here but there's so much light and it gives a perspective also to our own lives I think بحب انها كثير يعني بتوديك لعالم ثاني وبتخلي مشاعرك تتحرك وكثير حلوة يعني بحب هذه اللي تكون جاية كأنه حزن على فرح تعني تطلعني من جوي لأنه لما أكون مع الله بشغل أغاني بحسها توديني على عالم ثاني ولأنه ما في إشي أعمله بحط أغاني بجعل المركز مشان أتعلم وبتسلى بنفس الوقت والتعليم مهم لأنه يبني المستقبل ولما نكبر الناس ما تضحك علينا وتحكي إنه إحنا محنا معلمين وهيك إشي أكثر إشي بحبه بالموسيقى إنه بتحرك المشاعر وتودينا لعالم ثاني و... ولما نكون ملي نسمع Yernani, 
enjoy the moment and not worry too much about the future or what happened in the past. Because for these people, to, in order to heal, they needed to do that. They need to just focus in this moment and work for their kids and do everything they can. To see how these people function, not only in the school, but outside the school, you can easily see that they're really a very strong community together and help each other and it does it just comes very naturally for them and it's very inspiring to see you hear this word resilience and many people speak about it when you have been through war with that attitude it's just just incredible that's that's We always like, want more and more and we already have so much and we still we want more and more and more and we don't because of that we kind of don't know how to appreciate small things and I really felt that here they can kind of do it and it felt so yeah beautiful and touching. do the sound on the beginning of the word. Masha, 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 Masha. It's like so vivid, like how the people who have the, the less in a way and who have been through the worst, um, how like um, generous they are and how this super like force of life they have and yeah, it's this is also like super powerful, like emotionally, it was a big wave in the face. Bravo! <laughs> I feel like we were able to bring something to the children that gave them joy in that moment. And that to me is much more important than any kind of pedagogical measure of this kind of measurable learning. Not that I think learning is hard to measure anyway, but I think this was more about sharing an experience together, much more so than are they now able to do this percussion part 100% correctly or are they able to sing this song 100% correctly? I think this was much more about the shared experience and also bringing uh, new songs and new ideas that we all shared. And I would say the sharing definitely went, went two ways between us and, and the children. I love to see how much the children here, they show physical contact and like affection through physical contact. I am personally that kind of person that I enjoy a lot hugging and, and holding hands and here it's been, it's been heartwarming to see how, how much that happens around people all the time, like both the girls and the guys.
felt like so many different emotions and so many different uh, m moments that somehow they are beyond the human language. So music can could like in, in, in that experience it's just a kind of a reminder for for us for the power of music and the power of of sounds and and stories and just being and sharing the food, the culture, the laughs and the the the, the spontaneity of the moment and it's like just coming with uh, somehow with empty hands but with lots of love and and you leave with lo with lots of memories and and we grow from this as musicians we grow from the the, the feeling you are we are all one you know we are we are we 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 just uh, we just use music as one of the languages to to communicate that that oneness شو يعني شو الأغاني نغنيها بالبيت يعني آه يعني أغاني مثل أغاني هيك يعني أشياء حلوة من الذكريات أو شيء آه بالحفلات أغاني يعني مفرحة مثل إيه اليوم الحلو ده أغاني عراس أشياء هيك يعني آه والأغاني أنا بحسها يعني إنه هيك تريحنا تعطينا أشياء هيك مفيد يعني إنه مش مفيد يعني إنه في ناس هسا في ناس ما بتحب الأغاني أنا بحبها لأنه هيك فيها ألحان حلوة أشياء بس إحنا عم نحفظ بالمدرسة أغاني كثير كثير بحب الأغاني هاي اللي يعطوني إياها منه نتعلم أجنبي ومنه نستفيد منها مثلا أشياء أكثر إشي بحبه بالأزرق إنه كلنا إيد واحدة كلنا بنضل مع بعض وصحباتي هون وأهلي وأولاد عمامي بنات عمي كلهم هون الموسيقى بتعني لي بحسها انه بتاخذني لمكان تاني لعالم تاني كثير بحبها وبحب اني اعزف كثير وبحب الكمان كثير بحب اني اغني انا طول عمري Sometimes you can't put the things that you are feeling into words because they're just words, you know. It's a tool to communicate, but what you are feeling inside sometimes it's impossible to to put it to words. We are the dreamers. We make it happen because we believe it. Look who we are. We are the dreamers. We make it happen, cause we can see it. We make it happen, cause we can see it. Just being the present moment with those kids made me feel very connected to myself also and and uh, it felt in a way very healing also for myself like we came here to teach music and mm -hmm. kind of give something but actually what happened in the end is that i learned actually more that mm -hmm. i don't even know 
which one was the teacher, me or the kid. Yeah. Or, As an artist myself, I have also learned on this trip that I don't need to be a professional educator to be still able to transmit and share the joy of, of making music. We have been able to create something that feels that has been so meaningful and fun, something that the kids might probably remember for a long time. hope that they will remember all the the songs and then teach each other also all the mm. songs and sing them together and The kids were always going to the principal and asking them that can they stay with us for a longer time, can they stay in Jordan and also they were coming to me so many times and asking me why don't you stay in Jordan, why do you want to go back to Finland, just live in Jordan, it's better for you. These kind of trips always change a person I think and uh, at least for me I feel that it has changed me to be here. And uh, something is different when we go back home. There's many memories and many new perspectives. <laughs> Yeah.
Sarnanam <laughs>